Hello everyone, my name is Deckerlink, the Trained Unprofessional, and welcome to back to Angels with Scaly Wings. On the last episode, I wasn't feeling like shit, now I am, but uh, I've gone uh, way too long without an episode, and I'm feeling really bad about it, so let's just, let's just play the game. <laughs> After a night of turbulent dreams, my consciousness returned to the shores of the waking world. How overdramatic do you have to fucking be? I woke up. Out of my dream. Oh, shit. Today is the day of the big fireworks. Who shall I bring? <laughs> well, I could go with the person who wants to go with me, or I could go by myself like a dick. I don't know. Let's choose a dean. Son of a bitch. Alright. Here we go. A ding dong. I guess she's here. Oh shit. Are you ready? Ready for what? The fireworks, silly. Oh, of course. Let's go. What the fuck? What the hell could she have possibly meant? After a few minutes of walking, we arrived at a rather empty looking area near the edge of town. Here we are. If this is everyone, I'm disappointed. I thought it would be crowded here. No, this is actually one of my training spots, and it turns out you can see the fireworks pretty well from here, too. So this is your secret spot, then? I guess you could say so. Well, now that I know of it, I suppose it's not so secret anymore. It's going to be on the front line of all the papers. A dean's secret spot. A, a random field. Who gives a shit? I don't... <laughs> not if you keep it to yourself. We can make it our secret. If you say so. Hey, looks like it's starting. Now take a look. Good look. A good look. We waited patiently as the silliness of the night enveloped us. Soon I heard the sound of the first rocket making its way into the night sky, after which it exploded in a pattern of colors. More rockets followed, the thunderous noise echoing throughout the land. Aw, it's pretty. Yay! One of those is the asteroid coming to kill us. <laughs> Suddenly, a terrible realization hit me. Considering how public of an event this was and how everyone would be watching the fireworks, now would be the best time for Razor to make his move. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> Gotta ruin everything. Not only was the village basically deserted, but the sounds of the fireworks would also overshadow any gunshots, giving him as much security as he would ever have. As the portal had been repaired by the mysterious person I met, now was the perfect time for Razor to make his getaway, and I was the only one who knew. Adin, I think we need to go. Now. Stop joking around. We haven't even made out yet. I've seen the best part yet. I know where Razor is. We need to stop him. Are you serious? Yes, I am. What should we do then? Maybe you could fly and get us some help. I'll try to buy us some time by confronting him. The hell is going on outside? Sounds like Razor's out there shooting people. Alright, where should I meet you? Somewhere near the portal. He'll be there. Let's go. What if he's like asleep and he's like, huh? Oh, I, I should do that. Eh, I'm tired. And then he just doesn't do it and we're freaking out over nothing. You've more than enough reason to be paranoid right now, though, so I wouldn't blame you. I arrived at the portal just a few minutes later. I couldn't help but be glad that it was still turned off and didn't appear to have been used recently, but it meant Razor was still here, somewhere. I looked around, thinking where he could be or if it was worth waiting for him here when I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Hesitating, I drew nearer. Oh no! Oh shit! It's... that's Sebastian! No! I checked Sebastian for any signs of life and found nothing. However, his body was still warm. Razor was here very recently, but he hadn't used the portal just yet. Why? He's waiting for you. Sebastian's guard post was just not for the portal itself, but also the surrounding area. Since Razor was already here, he probably had some unfinished business very close by. The underground building, the administrator had told me about the prowess of the generators within. It probably hadn't been hard for Razor to guess the same or to try stealing them from a place he knew uh, would be even more deserted than the rest of the village was right now. He also didn't have far to go from the portal, all things considered, it was the only option that made sense to me. 
I could have waited for Reza here, but in the end I decided it would be better to meet him underground. If there was going to be a confrontation, I was sure I was uh, would have the advantage in a more crowded place. What? Even in the darkness, it was easy for me to spot the site where they had unearthed the building's entry, as it had been roped off air as it as it was a roped off area I had seen from afar before. Wow, this this just looks like a hospital. Oh yeah, I remember seeing Reza in a hospital-looking place. Uh, from, I think, the trailer? Or maybe it was the Steam page, I don't know. When I entered the building, I was met by a long illuminated hallway that was lined with doors on both sides. Since the lights were already on, Reza had to be very close. I wasn't surprised at the building still having electricity since its generators were also powering the portal. Suddenly one of the doors opened and out came Reza, carrying a large cardboard box. When he spotted me, he set it on the ground. Oh, motherfucker! Pierce, you're here? You don't know how glad I am to see you. I've wanted to talk to, uh, with you for so long. I even tried to contact you, but I couldn't with someone tailing you the whole time. But talking can wait. Now that you're here, we got, we've got everything. Come on, help me with this and let's get out of here. No. No, what are you talking about? I'm not doing anything until you answer a few questions. You want to talk now? Sure, why not? We've probably got a few hours if we wanted to. None of them will disturb us here. We could even get the backup generator as well after we send this one over. When do you? When did you realize we were in the past? How did you know about the comet? I've known for a while. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh, not feeling good. I've known for a while. It's what I wanted to talk with you about when we met at the portal. How about you? I only recently found out. Looking back, it just seems obvious to me now. I'm not sure how you exactly figured it out, but there are so many damn clues when you think about it. I mean, how could a supposedly completely different independent civilization speak the same language as us? What was this supposed to be, an alternate reality? No, it was just a different time. When was there ever anything resembling these creatures on Earth? It's not hard to make the jump from dragons to dinosaurs when some of them here look pretty damn near identical to dinosaurs we knew about. And then there are also prehistoric fruits, the plants, and the fact that their technological level is nearly exactly the same as our own past society. But we don't even have to think about that. But we don't even have to think that abstract. You just needed to look at the sky. The sun, the moon, even the stars are the same. Constellations change over time, of course, but you know we can account for that stuff. You could have just pointed your PDA at the sky and it would have told you the time period, including the imminent threat of being eradicated. Oh, someone told me to uh, look at um, this status page. I just remembered. Oh, oh, that sucks. Three of the people are dead. Uh, three? Remy's impressed. Oh, Adine feels abandoned. What the hell? Why? And then of course Bryce, Sebastian, and who's the third player? I don't. I guess this scenes played three would be Bryce. So I guess Sebastian and someone else is the maybe Maverick. I don't. I don't fucking know. Anyway, Bach. You could even see the meteorite in the sky, and how it would change its position day after day. Are you done being condescending? I guess so. You killed those dragons, Reza. What a brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Why did you do it? Do you really need me to spell it out? I thought better of you. After I found out the truth about this place, I knew just waiting for the generators we were owed was not an option anymore. It would have taken who knows how long, and, but I didn't intend to stay a day longer than necessary. You wouldn't believe how hard it was for me to acquire some of the generators. Some of the dragons didn't go down easily. And who cares that they got the, back the generators I stole? With this new, with this one, with just this one, we won't need any of the others. How could you do this? How could I do this? Let me ask you this. What harm is there really in taking their generators when their whole civilization will be gone in a few weeks anyway? The ones I killed just died a little earlier than scheduled. 
Even if that creep hadn't showed up and interrupted our meeting, we wouldn't have had the time for them to make the generators for us. Then how about we don't let them all die? They aren't going to be extinct anytime soon, if that's what you're concerned about. I paid the hatchery another visit before I came here. With the right persuasion, I think we'll have plenty of reasons to keep at least some of them around. Bodyguards, border patrols, weapons, even as pets or companions. As long as we make the necessary changes. See, it's not as bad as you might think. I'm not going to just abandon them like that, only for their whole civilization to be wiped out. Get your priorities straight, Pierce. Next, you'd rather starve because you suddenly empathize with a with a with a steak. <laughs> what kind of sentence is that? And you're not satisfied by starving by yourself. No, you're gonna let us all starve because you want to impose your morals on everyone. Since when do you think that you get to have any say in this? You know why you're here. When uh, what you're proposing is treason, and you know the consequences. Personally, I don't mind if you want to stay here. You know I don't care about corporal punishment. Just let me through and you can do whatever you wish. I can't do that, Reza. I see how it is. They've told you that they need this generator to stop the comet, huh? And now you've become their lackey. Don't tell me you've been drinking up what they've been telling you. You know they have as much of a vested interest in this whole thing as humanity does. That I and you do, or at least used to. Do you think they wouldn't do the same thing if it was their families on the line instead of ours? Uh. Their entire world is on the line here. Uh. They live in perfect harmony with their perfect green energy source and no reason for wars or conflicts. Yada, yada, yada. We had that too, and you know what happened then? Of course you do. This is such an idiotic trope, you know? Random person meets weird natives, learns their ways, and ends up saving them. You're criticizing your own game here now. Um, that's a bit of an odd move, but okay. What do they need you for, huh? Maybe they're going to be extinct for a reason if they can't even save themselves. You know of our suffering, yet you will let them have it? I don't care what happens to them, but unlike you, I was trying to save humanity. At any cost. We have the solution right here, and you want to get philosophical now? Don't you think we deserve it? They've had it for who knows how long, now it's time for us. Not like this. Do you think I like it? If there was a different way, I would have spent the last few weeks doing what you didn't. Or wouldn't have. Shit. We don't live in this fairy tale world of yours where there is a perfect solution to everything. You should know that. Just being here a few weeks must have messed you up. I think I know why. You got too used to all the comforts they have here. You actually don't care if they all die back home, do you? As long as you can stay here in this perfect little world of yours, you've discarded everything and everyone back home and replaced it with this. Maybe it is because you don't have a life back home. I can even understand that a little. Of course, it would be nice to just stay here where they have everything and we that we don't. But being here also reminded me of everything I hated about our world as it used to be. The pettiness and the politics. Say about the, say about the solar flare what you want, but it leveled the playing field and gave people like us a chance to make a difference. For all of our efforts, what did we get? A vote that was meaningless in a sea of stupidity and lies. Now everyone has to pull their own weight. We make the rules. You of all people should understand. Of course they wouldn't. They haven't experienced how it is to live like, to live like we do now. To see the world burn and everyone you know die around you. And because I have, I won't let the same thing happen to them. How many do you think died back home just in the two weeks we've been here because of the power, they don't have power for the hospital, huh? Do you think those victims aren't worth mentioning, or do you just care about the few dragons I killed? Our city is the last bastion of a civilized society in a world where nothing else is left. Maybe you've forgotten about them, but I haven't. How many of us you think still will be there in a month, a year, or are they just a statistic to you? The same could be said for the dragons. What do you want to do? Talk me down from doing this, and then what? 
It's too late anyway. You think they're gonna just let us go after what I've done? Fat chance. Whatever you may think, you'll find that our leaders back home agree with my course of action. Why are you telling me this? Because I expect you to join me. That's not gonna happen. And you call yourself an ambassador? This generator is the only thing we need for our city to survive. How can you even argue about this? The dragons also need that generator, and I'll do what is necessary to stop you if I have to. So this makes you judge, jury, and executioner. What a wonderful set of morals you have there, Pierce. We only need to wait until the comet has passed safely. You think you can stop the comet, and you need this generator to do that? Sure, and if your plan fails, then not only is the whole of this world gone, but we also lose any and all hope to save our own. We are so close now! We can't risk anything by waiting for your crazy plan when back home they are dying by the minute! I will not let you! You only want to save your own two-faced hide because you don't want to face the consequences of what you did. Oh shit. Oh fuck, he's going crazy. That's a new sprite. He's laughing. Why are you laughing about this? Because it's a joke. It must be. I'm the one with the gun and you thought you could just waltz in and lecture me. Listen to you. Listening to you was fun and all, but the grown-ups must get back to work now. I mean, what are you going to do? You can't stop me now anyway. Oh shit, Maverick. Maybe I can. Suddenly Maverick and a Dean appeared next to me. Oh shit, why is a Dean here? What the fuck does a Dean have to do with any of this? She's only here so that she can probably die in this scene because it has to be dramatic. She has no reason to be in here other than she's one, curious about this facility, and two, for the drama? I don't know. This is a very dangerous and volatile situation, so the police chief being here is understandable, but what the fuck is the- why? <laughs> you planned this, didn't you, Pierce? Traitor! And to think I let you distract me with such a cheap trick. Cheap trick was the, that's the, ba the band that did, um, Surrender? Yeah. Oh, that's a good song. Just because I thought there was still a shred of humanity within you. Oh, fuck. He pulled out his gun, not sure which one of us he'd be aiming at. Just let me go and I'll forget this ever happened. You've got six bullets for three people. Yeah, why does he have... How much ammo do you, does he fucking have? Do you really think you can do that, Reza? Do you think it's worth risking your life for? Why is a Dean here? She's gonna get shot! I've been risking my life for this every day for the past two weeks. What did you do? What did you do during that time? Sip champagne in your nice apartment? Besides, this generator was in the whole building came from our time. They belong to humanity. Suddenly, the administrator came out of the shower. Sh Suddenly, fucking Triple H showed up and gave Reza a pedigree. What the shit? This sounds like a damn fan fiction. Suddenly, the administrator came out of the shadows in the hallway behind Reza. Oh, uh, what, the, what the fuck was his voice? No, they belong to me. Confused, Reza spun around, aiming his gun at the newcomer who was slowly walking towards him. Who the fuck are you? Freeze! I said freeze! Want to waste your bullets on me? Feel free. They, you can't stop all of us. Oh, Jesus! If you say so. Oh, son of a bitch! He pulled the trigger and the administrator fell to the ground with a dull thud that knocked her mask off. Her? Shit. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. What the fuck? Why the hell? I KNEW THIS WAS GONNA HAPPEN! Razor was quick with his gun and shot at Dean before Maverick even had a chance to cha charge. Damn it! As Maverick ran towards him, Reza adjusted his aim before shooting at Maverick multiple times. Maverick stumbled and fell before Reza walked up to him and shot him in the head! What now, Pierce? Are you gonna let me through or do I have to finish the job with you? Dean was lying on the ground next to me, injured. Oh, why do you gotta be all dramatic about this shit? Damn! Why did you come in here? You had no reason to be in here! You don't even go here. I looked over to Maverick and the Administrator. Both lay dead in a pool of their own blood. Ah! You, 
That's the wrong place to shoot him in the head. The brain's a little further back, but... But damn, dude! Damn! Now you hesitate to kill after doing all this. It's your choice. Please. Just go. If you told me that just a few minutes ago, I wouldn't have had to do all this. Heck, you could have come with me, you stupid idiot. But if you want to die here with everyone else, feel free. Alright, step over there and lie on the ground. If I see either of you moving on before I'm gone, I'll shoot. I did as he said and could only watch as he took the generator and left. It, 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 there he goes. While both Maverick and the Administrator were dead, it turned out that Dean's injury was fairly minor and she soon got the medical attention she needed. While I attempted to use the portal to follow Reza, however, I had to realize that it was Humanity's portal was not accessible. After Reza had arrived on the other side, he and hum or Humanity must have quickly deactivated their portal in order to prevent anyone from connecting with it again. I warned the dragons about the comet, but without the generators from the underground building, they failed at diverting the comet enough to make a difference. As such, the only remaining option for me was to use the portal with the administrator's coordinates, which would enable me to travel back in time to the day of my arrival in this world. I met with the dean for one last time to tell her about my plan. I would use the portal to try again, hoping for a better outcome. There will always be another year, huh? What are you talking about? That's what you told me during the summer festival, when you talked me out of flying in the contest. There will always be another year, so I didn't have to fly in this one. I'm sorry. Don't be. You did what you could. Even if it has to end like this, I enjoyed my time with you. Let's not have any regrets now. Thank you. Remember when I asked what you were going to do if you knew the world was go going to end? You told me we'd enjoy life to the fullest until the last moment. I guess you won't have to do that if you go back. And you won't have to either if I get to if I have any say in this. Can't I just come with you? Unfortunately, no. These coordinates are tied to my biometric data. Only I can use them. Oh well. Don't worry, I'll be back before you realize it, and nothing will have happened. I'll wait for you. What? Okay, okay, so someone... <sighs> I did, a. Uh, I I mentioned a couple times that I thought that... <clears throat> the, uh... Christ, that I thought the uh the game was nearing its end because it it seemed to be leading to a crescendo in the story so i uh, i kind of gathered that there was going to be a uh uh, uh a finale happening and uh it turns out i was right but Someone also, when I said that, they left a comment. They were like, oh, you think you're done? Ha 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 ha, laughing. Oh, what little you know, or something like that. And um, it turns out, yeah, uh, apparently with this game, you have to play it multiple times in order to actually beat it. Um, and that... That sucks. I don't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't suck. But let me let me clarify what I meant by that. What I mean is, it sucks that we uh, wound up <laughs> that this is the ending. That if we were to stop, would be. Oh, and she's so sad. She's so sad with our food at the door. You know what I would be willing to bet is that if we go back and start doing everything, I would have to do it with a guide if I did it. Uh, but it would have to be, uh, we would have to do it with a guide, and there would probably be different pictures at the end, I imagine, because it wouldn't end on, oh, this person's dead, this person's sad, a Dean's sad left at the door, like, <sighs> son of a bitch. Okay, so, this is, uh, you've seen what lies behind the mask. 
You have seen Adeen's bad ending. Fuck you. You experienced just one of the many and different endings of Angels with Scaly Wings. In order to see the story's conclusion, you'll have to play through the game a number of times. During the next playthrough, you may want to make different choices. You may even find the information you gained this time to be helpful. Sometimes, you might even notice that prior choices have changed a character or aspect of a game's world permanently. At any rate, feel free to employ this game's skip buttons, control and tab, generously, as, by default, they will only skip text that you have already seen, making subsequent playthroughs much more palatable. That's good! Can you find all the different endings? You have seen your first ending. Damn. Damn dizzy god dim damn. Well, this is what we're going to do with this, because all the fucking games I'm playing right now seem to just go on forever. We will, I'm going to say this right now, we definitely will be coming back to this, and I will be, for the most part, doing basically my first time. For, oh shit, there's a dragon on the screen now, and the... Yeah, over over on the right there. Um, I, I wonder... Oh, the, the screen probably changes with every ending you get. But, um... We will... Um, we will be coming back to this. We will uh, see the other endings. Uh, it'll probably be the first time I follow a game with a guide... Uh, just because I, w I personally want to see the right ending. I don't want this to be the last episode. This is not the finale. But I will be taking a step away from this game in order to uh, be able to lighten the schedule a little bit. Uh, because I've been thinking about doing, you know, filling this slot with another game. Uh, the next game will be like Ocean's Blue, Ocean Blues or whatever the fuck. Uh, because uh, McCry 1, CB4, sent that to me um, for me to play, which is awesome. But, like people pointed out, five games at once <clears throat> is a bit fucking maddening. That and it makes it so that if you're just interested in one or two series, it takes a long time for an episode of that to come out. So, uh, for now, there is not going to be a replacement for this game in the schedule. It's just going to knock it down to Lagoon Lounge 2, um, then, and uh, Nekajishi, Echo, and Extracurricular Activities. Um, and then, like, with Lagoon Lounge, once, uh, once Lagoon Lounge 2 is done, I'll go straight into Lagoon Lounge 3, just because the games are so short that you just plow through them. Um... And then once that happens, I'll either go back to this game, or we'll do Ocean Blues, or uh, or we might do, um, or I might just knock it down to three games in this in the, in the schedule. Let me know what you guys want me to do in terms of the schedule. Uh, what games you want me to be playing all at once. Um, but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I've been the trainer and professional speaking for the voices in my head when I say, until then, fare thee well. Bye, everyone!